Welcome inside the Globe Studios for another episode of Change Up Chatter. I'm Lily Herrera. And I'm Colin Eccles. Colin, we took a break last week, but you have no idea how excited I am to get right into this episode. So why don't you kick it off with the results of the American League Championship Series. Sure thing. In the American League, the New York Yankees had zero trouble moving past the Cleveland Guardians, finishing with a 4-1 to one series win. Giancarlo Stanton was named the ALCS MVP, hitting four homers in the series and accounting for seven total RBIs and 16 total bases. Stanton passed both Aaron Judge and Babe Ruth on the all-time Yankees postseason home run list, now with 16 total in his career with the franchise. He sits fourth all-time behind Bernie Williams, Derek Jeter, and Mickey Mantle. New York also set a record as a franchise in the ALCS. They now hold the record as a franchise with the most ALCS appearances with 19, most games in the ALCS with 95, most ALCS game wins with 51, and most series wins with 12. Even as a Red Sox fan, it's really hard to admit, but that's pretty darn good. I had a feeling the Yanks were going to pull through, and I also knew the Dodgers had it in them to make it all the way to the World Series once again. The Mets put up a great fight, but in the end, when the Dodgers are at home, they put on a show. In the sixth game of the series, the Dodgers win it all 10-5. to MVP of that championship series was named as Tommy Edmond, the shortstop for L.A. Edmond tied franchise postseason series records with 11 hits and 11 RBI in the sixth game NLCS. Edmonds' 11 RBIs tied with Maury Wills and Ron Fairley from the 1965 World Series, and his 11 hits tied a Dodgers postseason record for a series matching Corey Seager from the NLCS in 2020. Edmonds drove in four runs in the Game 6 pennant clincher for the Dodgers on Sunday night. That NLCS MVP was well-deserved. As much as I love sitting behind the desk and talking ball from our perspective, it's always fun to see what other people outside of our crew think. As most of you know, when it comes to sports, people can be pretty opinionated. And with such a historic World Series ahead between the Yankees and the Dodgers, we sent our very own Alyssa McDonald to see what the Goshen College campus is picking to take home the crown. Thanks, guys. This World Series should be one for the ages. Both of these teams have some of the most dedicated fan bases in the sport. Not only that, but their World Series rivalry goes all the way back to 1941. Since then, they've met 11 times in the postseason, the most meetings between two teams in the league. With this deep-seated rivalry, I'm asking people at Goshen College who they think is going to win. I want the Yankees to win, but I think the Dodgers are going to win. The Dodgers. I think an evil empire is going to win. I'm going to go with the Yankees this time. The Yankees? Uh, Dodgers. Oh. I don't like the World Series this year. It disappoints me. Can't stand either team. Dodgers in six. The Yankees. Go Yankees. The Yankees. Easy. It really depends. They're both great teams. And I feel like whoever shows up that day is going to win. But hopefully the Yankees, because I don't like the Dodgers. The Dodgers. I hope they both lose. <laughs> Me too, but I love Anthony Rizzo. So, maybe Yankees? Nah, they should both lose. Uh, Dodgers in seven. Well, guys, there you have it. It looks like the Dodgers are going to win their eighth Commissioner's Trophy. My name is Alyssa McDonald. Colin, Lily, we'll send it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Alyssa. Love to hear what other people's picks were, and I love the Cardinals jersey. Plus, thanks for giving us Tommy Edmond. Colin, I think it's about time that we give the people our picks for the World Series. So, who are you picking? For me, it's a really, really tough series to pick from. Two pretty loaded offensive lineups. The pitching has been lights out as well for both teams. But for me, I've got to go with the Dodgers. If Freddie Freeman can come back healthy, I think the Dodgers have it in six. Could not agree more. And I know it's probably obvious who I'll be picking, but... I've got the Dodgers. I'll be repping that blue all postseason. They've got a great lineup and a good defense to back it up. So I'm hoping they don't let me down this year and they'll take the World Series. We'll be back next week for another quick middle of the World Series update. We will see you next time for more Change Up Chatter.